Hey guys, today I thought I'd do a, a quick updated video of my how to find diamonds because I saw in a lot of the comments that I'd um, put the wrong kind of level to find diamonds and everything. And uh, since it's a new 1.3.1 update, you know, a few days ago, um, I thought, you know, maybe let's do an updated video for that because uh, that that will fit in kind of well. And um, I kind of add in a little section on um, the tips on finding emerald as well. So let's just get started then. So I just built a little hut, did it in creative mode. Um, yeah, so I just built a little hut in creative mode and spawned me some tools in, some torches. Started off digging, and pretty much it's the same as last time. You want to dig down to bedrock, but then uh, I'm going to show you some other tips that you need to do as well along the way. So let's just dig down all the way down here. And uh, while I'm digging, last time I talked about something while I was digging, we are now YouTube partners. Well, not YouTube partners, we are now TGN partners. Thank you so much, TGN. If you go on our channel now, we have an updated background, and I've uh, changed our picture. And above our videos, instead of our name, it should sound, now say, uh, have our little banner thing there. So, yeah, we have all the partner features, we're fully partnered. And I'd just like to say thanks so much, guys. You guys... Without you guys, we ha we wouldn't be partners. We would, you know, just be regular people on YouTube. But we're partners now. We're going to be earning some money off YouTube. So hopefully with that money, we're going to be able to buy some extra kind of equipment for our YouTube channel. Hopefully a HD capture card. I think we're going to go for an Elgato once we get enough money. Obviously, we haven't earned any yet. We're going to have to wait till the end of the month to see how much we averagely earned that month. So um, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. You know, we're gonna have uh, once we start earning some money, like a decent amount, we're gonna start doing some giveaways and stuff like that. And hopefully, Josh is gonna come a lot more active in the videos because I know it's usually just me doing tutorials and running videos. But I hope you guys enjoy them, and um, I hope you guys enjoy the ones with Josh in them because they're kind of a special kind of little like experience because Josh is hardly ever in the videos. Oh, gold. Yep. And uh, as and uh, off topic a bit here about what I was talking about, but you will find ores along the way, and uh, taking them is probably good. I know gold is kind of one of the most uh, underused ores, and people usually say it's pointless. I say it's not pointless because if you're not going to make powered rails, make golden tools. They are they are better than diamond. It's just that they uh, break very easily. Now gold armor. And um, gold swords, they are quite decent, but don't use like a gold sword on a mob spawner. It's just, just not good, because um, on mobs, like not mo 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 mob spawners, like if you have like a an XP grinder or some, oh lava, if you have like an X XP grinder or something, um, then don't use it on that. But apart from that, it'll be fine, just you know, for going out and killing stuff. Okay, so we pretty much got down to bedrock. There's a few layers to go, nine layers. We're at like, layer nine. I said around layer 16 and all the way down to bed, I said like a layer above bedrock, um, but apparently it's not, it's about layer 13, 14 is the best, so we're going to start kind of strip mining across here. Now if you have a mod such as like Tekkit or Technic, then this is going to be a lot easier, you can use those divining rods, but since I'm playing vanilla, basically, apart from Ray's minimap obviously, um, and it's going to be kind of a little bit harder and uh, yeah so we're just going to dig down here it's quite simple really the only change is that um, you need to strip mine I'm going to show you how to strip mine and I'm basically going to give you a few more hints which I didn't give you and basically this layer so you need to stay stay at layer 13 then just go this way until you find a diamond so I'm just going to keep going oh we found a cave we can probably find a diamond. If yeah, if, if you find a cave, don't worry, it's not a disaster. It's actually pretty good because if you, I'm not going to explore this, but if you go around exploring this entire cave, I'm, I, I will assure that there, there. Look, we've already found diamonds. There, there we go. We found one diamond in the cave already. And obviously, do the uh, oh two three. Ah, that's why you do that. That is why you dig around it. That is exactly why. That's a that's that's very fortunate. Did it, that that lava happened there? Because if I'd have mined that, I'd have been sorry. Excuse my language, guys, but I would have been fucked. I would have. Now, 
to get around this, if there is lava, oops, you just need to, uh, see, it would have just fallen in and burnt. It's just not ideal. Okay, so, let's just jump on this diamond here, and, um, you want to block it off, like this. Block off all of the, uh, the lava. And it's quite simple just to get rid of some lava. But, um, we can get this diamond now. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, oh, that nearly fell in. That nearly fell in, but I got it. We've got three diamonds already. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty... Where did I come in? Now we need to find a... Ah, here we go. So, excuse the fly mod, guys. Oh, no. Just get in this water. Oh, why do I keep doing that? Just... Right, there we go. Right, now, once you get to diamond, I'm just going to say here, you can either go back and go the exact opposite direction, but I don't really like to do that. I prefer to just start digging another direction. Obviously, I can't go this way, and obviously, I can't go this way. So, I decided to just go this way. And hopefully, we'll find some more. Now, I've got a few tips to finding diamond. Diamond usually likes to spawn in caves. Obviously, we've just found that there. And it obviously likes to spawn near, near lava. Now, I think a hidden update which was done in the new 1.3.1 .1 was that it's more likely to spawn near lava now, as we've just seen. Now, as you can see, there's some redstone here. And I've, I've also found that diamonds like to spawn near redstone. That's a, that's a good tip, guys. If you look around bed, redstone, it's not always there. But if you do look around redstone, because sometimes it there is a hidden diamond and it does like to spawn near there. And let's just go through here. I don't know why I put touch there. Let's put it back there. And it's carrying on going through here. And uh, I'm just going to stop here, guys, because I don't want this tutorial to go on forever. I don't want it to be a really long video because it's just a simple, easy tutorial. So I'm going to stop the video here and move on to the emerald bit. Um, yeah, so that hope you guys have enjoyed this part. Remember to watch the emerald part and like the video. So, yeah, see you guys. Alright guys, now I'm going to show you how to, well, basically the tips on how to find emerald. Now, basically, to find emerald, you need to do exactly the same as um, on uh, diamond, but it's kind of in a different area. Now, uh, as of now... Emeralds only spawn in extreme hill biomes. Now you can check if you're in an extreme hill biomes by simply hitting F3, and you'll see it says LC95B Extreme Hills BL. Basically, that means you're in an extreme hills biome. I don't know what the rest of that means, but I know because it says extreme hills, it means I'm in a extreme hills biome. And basically, you can actually see that you're in an extreme hills biome. Just in creative mode here, you can see. There's quite a lot of hills around here compared to, say, this swamp. So, this is an extreme hills biome, guys. Um, now, once you're in an extreme hills biome, I highly recommend you find a cave because emeralds are 25 times rarer than diamond. Yep, that's right. 25 times rarer. Now, you may be thinking, oh, I'm not going to find any of them. Well, you probably aren't, to be honest with you. But if you really want them, then this is for you. Now, there are simpler ways of getting emerald via NPC villages. And I'm going to do a video on that in a later point. But for now, this is going to have to do. And um, basically, you just strip mine down exactly the same as um, with uh, diamond. And some of the same rules apply, some of them don't. Um, I'm probably going to guess that it's going to spawn near lava because notches mean like that or jeb whoever it is and he'll probably just have it likely that you spawn the lava and then you mine it and it's gone but that's just kind of a guess really and I don't think it spawns near redstone usually um, but I know the layers it spawns it's below it's thir layer 30 and below and um, yeah so layer 30 and below and you'll you'll find it but I think around the same layer as diamond so about you know, 13, 14 is where you'll really find it, you know, commonly. Well, not commonly, because it's, like, the rarest thing in the game, but, you know, most commonly. And what makes it extra hard to find emerald 
is that you've got to dig down the extra, like, 30 layers or something. Yeah, 30 layers, because I'm at level 90 here. The average layer um, for ground is, like, 60. So you need to dig down an extra 30 blocks from up here. Unless you go all the way down there, but what's the fun in that? I'm just joking, guys, but it, generally you're going to find the caves up high, so... Uh, it's just it's kind of annoying, really, but yeah, I guess it's an adventure. It's Minecraft. So I'm not going to go digging down because it's going to take me absolutely hours to get an emerald. But if you really want it, just follow those tips. Just dig down exactly the same as I did, like this, on uh, the diamond part. And eventually, if you're lucky, you will find emerald. I'm not going to say you will because I don't want a lawsuit on my hand. But you may. You probably will. So just dig down like that. Every so often put a uh, torch. And when you get down to bedrock, go up a, a few layers and then start branching off and strip mining. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this this kind of uh, tutorial, double tutorial video, guys. Um, there's going to be more content to come. And um, if you've got any um, questions or anything to ask, make sure to ask us on Twitter because we're having a Q&A soon. So, yeah, see you later, guys.